In today's video, we're going to defy the oldest rule in Minecraft and bring the ocean to the nether for an awesome build. This took forever, so make sure to smash that like button and enjoy the video. There was a glitch for one snapshot where you could get water into the nether by placing glow lichen inside of a lava source block. And today, since our project's going to be transforming a lava lake into an ocean, then we'll have to downgrade our world to the 1.17 snapshot. Hopefully without corrupting anything, because it will erase everything you build if the chunks are loaded. So now it's just us trying to find a lava lake that's big enough and hopefully won't corrupt when we downgrade the world. But we can take out a little bit of that, shave a little bit of that away, make a nice little circle in the middle. Anyways, let's see if we can downgrade our world with without hurting it now that we have some, some glow lichen. And here we are in snapshot 23W03A. Hardcore Adventures. The world was in 1.20.1. Cause corruption. Ah, I know what I'm doing. Please, just not much corruption. Okay. Okay, this is a this is a great start. Oh, okay. That was stressful, but uh, all right. Now we're feeling a little bit more normal. I want to almost be in the middle of the lava lake for this, but I don't. I don't really know like how far the middle is, because I don't want to corrupt too much of the world. The reason this update is so important is because when you take our glow like in here and we place it in lava, we get water in the Nether. And we can just keep doing this over and over and over. And if I get my shears, I can even pick the glow lichen back up and this water acts like normal water. So if I break this obsidian, it makes another source block, which you can place kelp in in 1.20.1 to make water source blocks. If this isn't like one of the most illegal things, then I don't know what is. But I need to do all this in this update and I cannot revert it back again or else it will delete everything I built. So I gotta make sure to get enough water source blocks down to be able to like, have somewhat of a chance. Cause if I build here in 20.1 and then I reload it, it it's, gonna, it's gonna take everything back away. And I'm only bridging out this way cause I don't, I'm gonna have to see when I get 1.20.1 where I wanna build my little dome at. Let me just fly up a second. I don't wanna load too much in this version. I think I'm just going to bridge this way a few more. Probably like 20, 30 more uh, glow lichens. Now if we revert our world back to 1.20.1, hopefully all this will be saved. Version 21W03A. Oh, please, please do not corrupt my world. Okay, this is yeah, this is actually really legit. We need to get the widest point, hopefully, of where our circle will be. So to do that, I guess I'm just going to use another warp blocks. And I'm going to start over here, and I'm going to measure all the way, probably to like somewhere around here. And then we'll take that, and we'll make a big circle out of it. That took a lot more time than I was ever hoping it would ever take. But it's all right. So now that we got our glass outline done, we're going to have to go through and, you know, fix that with some lava buckets and fix that with some lava buckets on the outside of our circle there and just a couple little things here and there because I don't like the look of the flowing lava in the lava lake. But now it's time to start filling everything in with my sand. So that's going to take forever, but it's all right. We have the power of editing for you guys. This is peak Minecraft gameplay right here. And sorry, I'm about to butcher this, but Nadro says, Hi, Turtle Nation. Love the vids. I was wondering if one of the sniffers names could be named Nadro after me. Keep up the good work. Love your vids. And then we got one from Cameron M2992 says, Amazing video. I can't believe how much patience you have to get that many sheep. Still waiting for a turtle to be named after me, though. So don't worry. We're going to take care of that today, Cameron. And if you want a mob named after you, all you do is leave a comment and let me know what mob you'd like to be named. Alright, well back to the nether to place sand for hours I go. My Discord members asked me why it said I've been playing Minecraft for 12 hours straight. 
They wanted to know what I could possibly doing, what was so important that I needed to spend 12 hours straight on Minecraft. I'm placing sand! I am placing very large amounts of sand in concrete powder. I don't know why, but every mob in this game seems to want to murder me. I don't know what to do. There's just so many. And if you look now, we have all of the lava filled in, except this one little patch right here. Once we fill in this one little patch of lava, we're going to need to take all of this down one level and then break the obsidian, and hopefully all of this will flood with water. And then we won't have to worry about any more of the shenanigans we're seeing happen in front of us. Just like that. Now we need to take all this down one layer and flood with water. Which will cause most of this to turn into concrete, which then we'll mine, and then we'll have to replace a bunch of sand at the bottom, but it's okay. It's all okay. It's all okay. This took an insane amount of time. You should leave a like. Anyways, time to mine this down. Well, now that we have all the top layer of sand down, all we need to do is break all the subsidian, which should be extra fun, and it should hopefully, for the most part, fill everything with water. And then it should turn all this to concrete. And then I'll be able to go underneath and mine out all the sand. And if everything went according to plan, I should be able to break this block and everything fills in. Wait a minute, no. Oh no. It's supposed to fill in the whole thing. Now my plan is, I've seen this interesting video which I hope will help our situation here, where he moved waterlogged mangrove in the nether by simply just block updating it with a repeater because it has to be a one tick game delay. And then you break, break, and then you would have to replace, replace. Break, break. And then what should happen at the very end is you should be able to break it and the water move. So please, please let this work in the nether. Because if not, I, I'm done for. My, my whole project, like 30 hours of my life, is gone for nothing. So back in the nether, moment of truth. I take sticky piston, mangrove root, and observer. Please tell me this will work. If I place it in water, it should get waterlogged. Waterlogged, true. Now if I... I place a sticky piston, place an observer. Oh, please work. Is it? It's still waterlogged. Okay, okay, you know what this means then. That should regenerate. And now I have the fun time of doing this. My goal is to move a piece all the way to that little tippy corner and then it'll all fill in. And then if I take one here, move it to that corner, and then I take another one and move it to that corner, we will have a full water bed. Oh no. No, 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 don't mess up my mangrove root. I swear, the nether is the most annoying place on earth. But for now, the next main thing is, is I need to go underneath all of this. And in retrospect, I should not have used a bunch of shulkers full of sand for these boxes, because now I'm going to have to replace all of that, because the water is going to flow down as I mine it, versus the concrete I can speed mine underwater. So now I'm going to go brew up a bunch of fire res pots and place glass as far down as it'll let me all the way around and mine that tree. Now that I got all my glass placed, I'm just going to have to mine along the edge here and hopefully not fall into any lava pockets. If I do, I'll put some fire res potions in my hot bar here, but hopefully I'll mine along the edge and we'll mine everything out. We'll kind of get the lay of the land and see kind of what we're going to do here for this. Are you coming all the way over here just for me? This has been a long journey as well. I'm down four shovels. Sadly, I, I broke them. I wasn't paying attention to my durability. But this is the last little stretch right here. After that, I'm going to 
Let's go around and pick off some of the concrete. I need to flatten this out somewhat. I'm not gonna make it like a flat ocean floor, but I need to level off this, put some more glass in places that I've missed. Take out a couple of these weird little humps, like over there and there, there a little bit, and just replace some of the glass around there. Or mine it down, that way lava can show through it. I'm not the brightest, because I have not been saving any of this sand. Because I'm going to need a bunch of sand to replace this whole floor. But I've been having to wait and let some of the items despawn on the floor. Because my FPS will drop down to like 20 FPS. So I'll wait like 5 or 10 minutes for the items to despawn. I didn't even think about how I would need the sand. And this keeps happening as well. But for now, I'm going to go through and just mine some of this random concrete hanging down from when I was replacing. And then I'm going to flatten some of this out. And I should get some glass and I'll go around and replace that. And then after that, we're going to flood it. Also, I'm going to leave all the magma, sand, and blackstone just because it'll give some texture to the bottom here. But I'm, I'm finally almost done. I'm completely out of every ounce of sand I had anywhere in any of my shulkers or chests. But I've only got a little bit there, here, and then I'll be done with this part. And then we can start letting the water down. And now the next portion is... <laughs> I need to walk through the water. Thankfully, I have Depth Strider. And I need to break every block here. That way, the water will flow down and flood it before I start my build. Finally, after many hours of mining, we only have one little section that doesn't have any water on it. I think this is turning out pretty good. Other than all the gas that are spawning and, like, beating me up. And with that, we are now done mining it all out. That was definitely the hardest part. It had to have been. Now it's time we start our build. Now it's safe to say we need to gather a lot of materials for this build. But every time I feel like a chicken with my head cut off trying to find everything. And I still have all my materials from my last build. I don't even know where my shulkers are. Where are my boxes? Please. Oh, I really need to build a storage system. All right, this is this is a real nice feeling right here, having all empty shulker boxes. And now I need to gather a bunch of resources. I'm gonna dig through my chests and try to get rid of some of this clutter for this one, I guess. Anything left, we'll just gather manually. I forgot my beacon, and I've already flew like 4,000 blocks this way. I thought I kept one in my ender chest, but I guess not. So I guess I'm just gonna have to mine the old-fashioned way. It's only, uh, 15 stacks of red terracotta. Hmm, maybe I go get my beacon. Oh, that's much better. Much better. I'll have this in no time. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of resources. <laughs> yeah, I got a day counter up in the top left if you guys didn't notice. So you guys can see just how long these projects take. But now we can finally go start the build. And to do that, we'll head back to the nether. And now, since we have our area cleared out, we have all of our supplies. I mean, this is just so much stuff. I don't even remember how many days it took me to gather all this, but it was, it was quite a bit of time. I think it's safe to say we can start the build now. I'm going to decorate the floor with coral and then put some of those little structures they have for the drowned in there. And then I'm going to start on a boat and an octopus. Well, I think this ship looks really nice. I especially like the eyes in the front. It's like a little turtle banner looking right at the octopus, you know? I guess it'd be like a Kraken. The only really annoying thing has been all these ghasts. And I guess the other thing uh, would be all this. I, I didn't realize it would be such a breeding ground. But now that we have the ship done, I still gotta do the like two little blocks underwater. 
But other than that, I think we're going to do the octopus. I know I said I was going to do the floor first, but I think it'll look just look better if I do all this stuff first and then I can focus on the floor and not have it in the way of my builds. I'm going to do the octopus now, the kraken now, and I'm going to try to make its arms where it wraps around the ship to look like it's attacking it. So we got the main part of the octopus done, or the kraken, or whatever you want to call it. I think these look pretty good. I still gotta go underwater and put the tentacles. He has a little anchor attached here, kind of like as if he stole the boat's anchor. And then we have a few little teeny support boats here. And then of course our main turtle boat. But I gotta connect some of these, you know, that's gonna go like under there, this one's gonna come to under here. That one's gonna go down and in the sand, and we're gonna have a little hump here for it where it's like digging through the earth. But other than that, I think this is looking pretty good. After that, after I connect those, we're going to add a couple little islands here. And we're just going to add some coral plants scattered in here. And then I think that'll about wrap it up. I'm going to get started with the tentacles. Alright, this was definitely one of my biggest projects by far. Just the mining out and getting the water in here itself was ridiculous, but I think it paid off in the end. This thing looks absolutely sick. I'm going to take a little screenshot for the Discord members. The link will be in the description, by the way. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you want for more content. And I'll see you in the next one.